It's not as hard to achieve as this first seems. The mechanisms to do so have been around since about 1983, 1984. They're already in use by all of the financial services customers. So the, the proposals from the PRA really are to stressed exit plans, basically. That's the mechanism or documented exit plans that can cope with supplier failure, uh, service deterioration and concentration risk. Now, these plans have to be fully documented, successfully tested regularly, and then the results of those tests have to be presented to the regulator for further scrutiny. Um, there's no preferred method on, on, on how to do this. Um, you know, what the, the regulator are looking at for results. All services, whether material or, or, or non-material, must be assessed. Both parties must cooperate within this process. Any outsourcer that's unwilling or unable to be party to a, a stressed exit plan, well, their names must be submitted to the regulator. You know, what is a stressed exit plan? Well, 90% of it doesn't really apply to an outsourcer. You know, it really doesn't concern you. 90% uh, of it really is somebody else's sales site. It's the customer's procurement process. It's that process of identifying an alternate supplier uh, and, and then making them jump through all the lovely hoops that you have to jump through to sell into that financial institution in the first place. It's that 10%, that remaining 10% uh, that concerns you. That, you know, you're expected to accommodate a plan to allow your customer to legally continue using your service even though your company no, may no longer exist. That 10% is this temporary stage of a stressed exit plan. Now, I said earlier that the regulator isn't worried about the how of a stressed exit plan, just the result. And yet they do go to the extent of naming, suggesting some elements of the temporary stages of the stressed exit plan. You can see here that the, the PRA suggests active consideration of escrow agreements. Now, an escrow agreement, it's a, it's a legal and technical agreement under which you store the source code for on-premise solutions or the root access credentials for single tenanted uh, cloud services or, or maybe a spun down fresh instance uh, of a multi-tenanted service. And this information is then released to the customer under very specific release conditions. Conditions that mirror the named risk that must be mitigated by the regulator that I mentioned earlier. Supplier failure, the bankruptcy, liquidation, if you like, service deterioration, you know, uh, uh, inability to maintain, if you like, and then concentration risk. Well, demonstrations of it, you know, transfer of ownership of the intellectual property rights to the service or transfer of ownership of the company in its entirety.